Hello and welcome. Today we're going to download and install DaVinci Video Editor. We're just going to try to find it on Google and here we are, blackmagicdesign.com, that's the website. And let's just find, here's the download button. So let's click that, all right, we get a bunch of selection options. Now I get the option of DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. The non-studio version is free, while the studio version costs a bunch of money. So we're going to go with non-studio. I'm going to use Windows. And it wants a bunch of information. So I'm going to use a temporary email account for this and just put it all over this place. Because they don't really need to know all that. All right, it doesn't even check the phone number. That's very nice. Here we have the download. It is 1.5 gigabytes. That is going to take a while. All right, the download is complete. I will just press show in folder to see the folder. And this zip file, I'm gonna right click and extract all. All right, and now we have an exe file. I guess we have to double click this one. And oh my, why is there PostgreSQL in this? DaVinci Resolve panels, okay. We're gonna actually not install the panels because we will not use them because I am not buying them. So we're gonna skip this, I guess, hardware driver. We're not gonna do crazy audio stuff, so we're gonna skip Fairlight and Fairlight Studio Utility. So let's just press install. All right, so here we are in the installer, public beta. Let's press next and accept and next. And we're gonna just go with the default location. And uh, one more. Press and it's starting. And here we have a nice bouncing animation to soothe our nerves while we wait for this to even start. Please wait while the setup wizard installs DaVinci Resolve. Updating component registration. That sounds okay. Copying new files. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Registering... Oh, and we have the icons and what, what was that and okay. Yeah, let's show the README even though nobody ever reads it. Resolve installed successfully. Here's the README file. If you need features such as support for multiple GPUs, which we don't have, thankfully this is not a problem. 4K output, which might be a problem. Motion blur effects, which are certainly a nice thing to have. Temporal and spatial noise reduction, which sounds cool. Deinterlacing, which we don't need. HDR tools, which we don't need. Camera tracker, which I don't certainly don't need. Multiple Resolve FX, 3D stereoscopic tools, remote rendering, an external database server and collaboration tools that let multiple users work on the same project at the same time. Please upgrade to Studio for 300 bucks per person, I suppose. Resolve installed successfully. Let's just start it. And we're not going to need the Resolve project server, so I'm just going to delete that. Let's start Resolve. So let's take the welcome tour, because you're probably going to skip it. We can take a look at it together. It's starting with a welcome. The version number is not updated yet, but heck, this is a beta version. It tells me where the media is. Edit. Yeah, okay. Timeline. Drag things to a timeline. Color correcting tools. Nice. Audio. Yeah, Fairlight was advertised in the installer. This looks really cool, of course. I assume we have access to all these tools, even though we didn't install any Fairlight specific stuff. There's an export thingy on the left. And there will be a progress bar on the right, I believe. That's what it, this means. We're done with the tour. I guess we're going to go for a quick setup, even though we could just skip it. It checked my operating system. It checked my graphics card. Okay, I guess. It doesn't tell me what it configured. Ultra HD is 4K. So what is this? I thought we can't do that. Sure, sure. Let's just store it there. We can p pick a keyboard layout based on... Final Cut Pro X, Avid, Media Composer, or Adobe Premiere Pro. Interesting. We're just going to go for the DaVinci stuff and we're done. Block this. Block this. You don't need internet connections. Dude. W what is this? Stop with the permissions. All right. We're, not, we're just not going to grant it any networking permissions because it doesn't need them. And here is DaVinci Resolve. Give this video a like, send it to your friends to teach them how to download this software without accidentally downloading something wrong or doing something wrong during the installation. Check out my beginner tutorial in which we're gonna edit a simple video project. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to support it. I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!